A year has passed since Russia invaded Ukraine. Since then, this war has seen several twists and turns. Russia captured some of Ukrainian territories and was forced to withdraw from some others after facing tough counter-offensive. Now, one such city is Kherson which was under Russian occupation for nine long months. But even after Ukraine reclaimed the city, it remains mostly deserted. We on correspondent Anas Malik sent us this ground report from the city. Listen in. We're in Kherson and uh, what you see right in front of me is the Dnipir River. Uh, it's a 2200 kilometer long river that starts from the western side of Russia, enters into Belarus, from there into Ukraine and onwards to the Black Sea. You have to wear, it's not safe, so you have to wear a flak jacket continuously even in the car. Uh, and this river was used to cross over from the Russian side. Uh, and land or deploy their forces over here in order to capture Kherson which remained under Russian occupation for about nine months. It's strategically very important. Uh, there were 30,000 uh, forces that had left behind. Uh, Kherson remains a ghost town essentially and uh, even now what, we, what we've what we been told is the fact that uh, there can be possible fire or there can be possible exposure so therefore people are not allowed to go closer to the river. Anas Malik, Kherson, Ukraine for Beyond, World is One. Now, Russia and Ukraine have, there is no talk of peace happening anytime soon. Year two has already started. And if you to see where year one ended, the US president was standing on Ukrainian soil and Russian president had Chinese top diplomat Wang Yi sitting across the table. Now, China's Xi Jinping is also expected to visit Russia in the coming months. So China's backing of Russia is coming to the fore, but at the same time, China is offering a peace plan, which has not been very accepted by the West. We are now being joined by our correspondent Anas Malik, live from Odessa. Tell us more about the situation there. Anas, Odessa has been a significant city. Can you tell us more about what is happening there as you see things around you on ground? Well, Shivan, it looks like this uh, business as usual, but uh, it might look like it's business as usual. But uh, the reality is that uh, Ukrainians have now uh, uh, come to terms with the war. They've uh, inherited it uh, or they've uh, they've accepted it as a reality. And that is perhaps one of the most uh, tragic things because uh, 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 it shudders you to think in case if a tragedy strikes, uh, uh, they would have to come to terms with that as well. Uh, and uh, that is the reason uh, we're looking that uh, if where I'm standing here in Odessa, where I'm standing, it's uh, essentially uh, things continue uh, irrespective of what, how they are. Uh, they've got a very strategic port no, uh, and thanks to the Turkey deal, the grain deal, we're seeing that uh, uh, the Russian ships are far away. They've already got in the Snake Island pack uh, that is just off the shore from Odessa. Uh, you're not allowed to go near, nearer to the beach side or nearer to the port side because of the very reason that, uh, uh, that it can harm the strategic positions that the Ukrainian side holds. And that is the reason they try uh, to, they, they have avoided or they have barred people from going nearer to that or filming to that. Uh, we got here this morning. Uh, it's roughly uh, about two and a half hour drive from the city of Mykolaiv to Odessa, uh, which is the port city. Uh, it has been time and again attacked. Uh, it was one of the first cities to be attacked uh, last year when the Russian invasion uh, happened. And time and again, we've been seeing that uh, attacks like these have been happening. But uh, the people of Odessa, they remain undeterred and uh, they have their strong commitment and resolve and hope that the Ukrainian forces will end up winning this war, Shivan. Anas, we were also noticing that you had a certain amount of body armor on when you were in Kherson. But at the moment, as you stand in Odessa, you can be dressed the way you want. You don't need that body armor on you. So conditions are slightly less uh, risky in Odessa and people are getting on with life. Or is there an impending attack expected in Odessa as well? 
Well, the threat for an impending attack always remains. When we entered the city, uh, we'll be having that report play out tomorrow on Pion. But when we entered the city this morning, uh, we, uh, we were welcomed by air raid sirens uh, blaring and blasting across the city, across, in fact, the entire region. Uh, so that is an indicator that the guards have not been put down by the Ukrainian authorities. Uh, if I compare it with Kherson, of course, uh, things are considerably much, much better. Yesterday when we were in Kherson, we've had, uh, we, we heard dozens of shell uh, shells landing right left and center uh, uh, very near to where we were not exactly to where we were but very near to where we were in the Kherson region uh, and across where, from where we were reporting yesterday across the Nipir River uh, we, uh, it was being said by the Ukrainian military that there is an active sniper and a machine gun fire that can be heard time and again so therefore it was better advised for our own safety uh, the, the town of Kherson was abandoned uh, it was empty barely you'd see any cars or anyone on the road uh, and Odessa is nothing like it. Um, uh, it uh, what, what the people of Odessa say or uh, they owe uh, in their own words uh, is to the people of Mykolaiv and to the Ukrainian armed forces because uh, when Mykolaiv was the one that had thwarted the Russian attack or Russian attempt to invade it uh, in, the first, uh, in the first phase of the war, in the first seven weeks of the war and uh, that gave hope and renewed strength to the people of Odessa and the Ukrainian military as well. So uh, the threat of an attack of course looms but at this point of time as I said uh, they, they, have, uh, they have come to terms with the war with, with the reality that the war is there and therefore uh, they would want to continue with their life irrespective of, of what the circumstances are. Shivan. Thank you for all those updates Anas. Stay safe while you're on ground.